Today for Full Album Friday, we're going to go back to 1986 to look at the amazing self-titled or untitled debut from Throwing Muses. The key to this record is the combination of tempo shifts and the overall tone that creates this amazingly nervous tension throughout the whole thing. And at the same time, every track seems to just careen around in fantastic fashion. There's no other way of saying it. These songs were light years ahead of everything else that was going on at the time. And the approach that you hear in the music of Throwing Muses can be heard as influencing everything from industrial rock to alt rock and so many many other later genres. It's the way that the band can achieve just as much power and presence when it's a really sparse and dark arrangement as they can when it's full of instruments. That shows the true genius and talent and unending range of this group. But that's the thing with Throwing Muses. They're able to bring that strong, imposing sound, and simultaneously there's this delicate, fragile feel to every single note. And you can really feel all of the emotions in the music and the lyrics. Much of this is due to the musical and vocal chemistry between Kristen Hirsch and Tanya Donnelly. And the fact remains that nobody has been able to create music quite like these two. It's the way that they keep things so stark, rarely using symbols that often gives the song an almost mechanical feel to it. But when they spin things up and they drop a heavy melody, kind of like on the song Vicky's Box, it's just as much of an amazing eargasm. Now, in lieu of symbols, they use a massive range of other percussion on the record. And it's this diversity that pulls you in deeper and vaults the songs so far beyond their peers. There's just nothing this band can't do, from acoustic to almost an industrial sound, to punk, to outright anthems, and this is just one of those records that after you hear it the first time, you're going to wonder how you lived without it. Now, of course, all of this great music sits underneath the phenomenal vocal talents of Kristen Hirsch and Tanya Donnelly. And the vocals might be the only thing on this album that rivals the quality in music. The half-sung, half-spoken approach from Kristen Hirsch has this intensity and this presence you rarely find anywhere else. And it's the way that it clashes against the almost dreamy vocals from Tanya Donnelly that make these songs just exceptional. And if you're one of those people who's always looking for deep and powerful lyrics, this is the end of your journey, as you can truly experience someone battling their own demons on this album like never before. In the end, Throwing Muses may be the ultimate band when it comes to that tortured artist sound in terms of lyrics and overall feel. And there's not a bad second anywhere on what you have to remember is their debut album. And if you're still not sold on this record, how about the fact that they were the first American band ever to be signed to the legendary 4AD record label? Yeah, the label that put on everybody from the Pixies to the birthday party, Throwing Muses were the first stateside band they picked to be on that label. There's just no other way of saying it. The first record from Throwing Muses is phenomenal and groundbreaking in so many ways. And if somehow it's not in regular rotation for you, you need to change that right now. Thank me later. Oh!